Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have a lovely unbox and flip through and this is the Amel deck. This is an astrology deck which I found in Etsy and I contacted the owner Julie and she was really lovely to send me a deck to review for you guys, okay? So all her details will be below. This deck actually comes with an amazing amount of cards, 73 cards. I have not seen any oracle decks that i own at least with this amount of cards and today we're gonna go to a full flip through here and we're gonna see all the details everything that she has to offer this deck actually has so many different options and so many different things to offer whether you are a beginner you're learning the astrology the oracle or even if you are using if you're a pro and you're using to read for other people this will be really really useful and all her details will be below. She was really lovely. It was really fast. She does have on her Etsy, this deck is from France. She's in Paris, France. And it comes in French or in English. And she has a free delivery worldwide. So wherever you are, if you want to have this deck here, all the details will be below. And you can see here her Etsy shop here as well. Very easy. And she, has, she is a bestseller on Etsy as well. She has so many lovely good reviews and really amazing communication and she was so fast to the delivery was so fast as well okay for me i know i'm in ireland and she is in france but it was really three days the deck was here and she does ship worldwide and again guys free of charge and without delays i'm gonna open here for you again thanks very much julie for being so sweet and for being so great at communication and uh, all her details will be below okay here it is guys i just took off the plastic here beautiful sturdy box right you can see here the lovely colors you can just easily open here on the side i took off the plastic here too the protection okay and you can see here the lovely colors okay just leaving here on the side for you to see as well and uh, as it says on the on the page on the website you know it's a soft touch and uh, matte you can see here lovely and you can see the backs here as well so beautiful you know colors are perfect really so i'll go through them here guys definitely good quality you can see here you can bend but also it's firm enough okay it's perfect so i'll go through a flip through you can see here obviously start with the uh, all of the of the 12 signs but there will be so much more in this deck okay and you can see here the nice thing is as well it comes with this sign okay you can see here the fire sign you can see the planet as well and, and obviously the the symbol for aries and the keywords so there's just so much in this deck guys you can see here for aries i read the keywords for for the signs and uh, for some of the other ones not every single one but i will leave you enough you can always pause and read but i'll read for all the signs okay for aries and in initiate open the doors assert yourself take action you can see here taurus find your stability your security connect to sensual pleasures gemini explore learn experiment share communicate cancer connect to your roots explore your inside world leo follow your heart create express yourself shine virgo take care of yourself question yourself improve yourself libra balance relationships evolve through others bring beauty we have scorpio get the bottom of things get to the bottom of things affirm your power transform sagittarius open your mind travel connect give meaning and some beautiful keywords capricorn balance your expectations reach your goal aquarius change revolutionize free yourself engage in collective project pisces connect to your intuition to art to your imaginary world so you can see guys you could be taking these cards for someone else but you could be mixing and see what is 
maybe the card of the day as well. You could use you could use that way as well. So it's interesting because of the keywords. So we do have the the planets, of course, like sun and moon are stars, but we consider like connected with the planets here. You can see the sun, deep self, soul, self esteem, vitality, personal radiance, the father, the husband, and the moon. Intuition, inside word, emotions, needs, comfort zone, the mother, the wife, and the planets here now. Okay, Mercury, intellect, mind, thoughts, communication, interaction, the messenger. And this is so good, guys, if you are learning, if you are just trying to understand what each planet has as well, the meaning of each planet. So this is really easy as well if you're learning or even if you already know and you're using this is just so useful to read for others you know because not everybody reading too will know everything so this is really really useful so you have here as well the the other keywords here is the messenger okay and you can see here as well so venus and relational emotional love pleasure beauty creativity the lover, the girlfriend, Mars, actions, realization, ambition, independence, courage, passion, the lover, the boyfriend, Jupiter, expression, wealth, generosity, confidence, enthusiasm, the benevolent guide, Saturn, discipline, respect, responsibility, reality, boundaries, the wise, the guardian, I really like those other keywords as well. Uranus, revolution, change, originality, innovation, individuality, deliber deliberator. Neptune, spirituality, intuition, dreams, idealism, illusions, the veil. Pluto, transformation, inner power, unconscious, death, sexuality, the shadow worker. Very good part, uh, keywords. We do also have the black moon, lack of something, hidden desires, inner contradiction, the forgotten strength. Very good. And then we go to the Chiron. A wound can be a healing tool, the wounded healer. And then we have the houses, okay, guys? So if you're learning about this and you don't know all the information of the house as well, the meaning, okay, this is very good with the keywords because you can see here, like the first house, personality, identity, individuality, bringing goals. And each house will have the keywords you can see here. Second house, values, possessions, resources, body, grounding. Okay, very, very good. I'm not gonna read all of them guys, because there's so many, like 73 cards here. So this is really, really great. And um, no doubt this is very useful. If you're learning, if you're a beginner, if you are not, if you're reading for someone else, I feel like this is really perfect. And the way the keywords are here as well, you could easily use as just like um, like a card of the day, maybe what is the energy of the day, okay? So it's very interesting that way because of the keywords. So you can see here, seventh house, union, partnership, love and com compromise. So it could be something that you need for the day. So you just take that card as well, you know, card of the day. Transformation, reconsideration, sexuality, death, money. So you understand a bit more of the houses as well, okay? In the ninth house, the tenth house, eleventh house, and friends, fraternity, collective, project, community, and the last house, the twelfth house. Okay, limitations, retirement, letting go, resilience, spirituality, faith. And then we have the North Node and the South Node, right? You can see here. And we also have a lucky, a lucky card with a star. We also have the Retrograde, really good. New perspection, new perspective, introspection, reflection, think different. And then we have the elements, and that's why Earth was not there with the other planets. Earth is here with the elements, okay? So we have water, air, earth, and fire. And you can see here for fire, you know, action, vitality, impulse, passion, will, desire. For Earth, we have uh, physicality, grounding, foundations, 
nature, body, strength. For air, we have uh, communication, thoughts, freedom, curiosity, knowledge. And again, guys, showing here for you. Let me just do it. Water, intuition, feelings, purification, soul, unconscious, introspection. What I wanted to show you here is you can see how it's pointing as well to these symbols okay okay and you can also see the connection with each of the the fire signs or the the earth signs or the air signs water signs so you can see here guys there's just so much to see in this in these cards with all the symbols we have the yin and yang as well you can see here the feminine polarity introspection contemplation receive accept imagination intuition and we have the yang with the masculine polarity exteriorization action emit give reason reality and again is showing here guys the signs that are more feminine or masculine okay energy okay guys so we have also cardinal start initiate open the doors that's why i'm saying you can definitely use this as card of the day or oracle fixed stabilize maintain strengthen we have mutable you see here guys again pay attention to the signs here that the ones that are showing okay the mutable adjust bring transition learn and then we have all of the different uh, sides of the positions okay he'll have conjunction same sex style no vial semi square and again with the keywords okay guys like if it's if it's in this position is discomfort doubts hesitation indecision lack of confidence but you go and move again to the sex style opportunity emerging growth capacity to expand quintile square trine sesquisquare B quintile, so much in this deck, guys. Wow. In conjunction, opposition, and then we have some rulership here. Let's see, play by your rules, and you have all of the signs and the planets. And the detriment, learn your rules and adapt yourself to them. Exaltation being placed in a good environment to improve the ordinary you have fall find your expression in an uncomfortable environment very interesting and then we have uh, again showing all the the signs okay the elements and you can see here with uh, which which sign creation action material stability communication relationships emotions and so there's so much to learn here guys if you if you're new it's really good you can see here as well it's like organizing for you to understand and then there's spread ideas okay so you can see the transition you can have let's say four of the cards and then the first one would represent what can i let go the second one why the third one what needs to grow and the fourth one why so it's very good the grand cross okay so again the ideas here more spread ideas use the tarot or the oracle of your choice so you can do co together okay so you add the tarot and then add those the other cards here the oracle cards to add on to the reading to understand so it's very good spread ideas okay and more spread ideas okay Let's see here, the first one could represent what is hidden, the second one, what is blocking resistance, the third one, the origin of the block, and the fourth one, the advice. See here, guys, really great. And then the last one is another spread idea for a T-square. The first and second one would be what needs to be balanced, and the third one, an advice. So guys, this is really good. Like, no doubt, this deck here has so much to offer. You can see here, guys, 73 cards. I have not seen an Oracle um, 
an oracle deck that shows comes with this many you know and uh, with the option as well of not just the signs but the the stars the planets the houses all the spread ideas all the other connections that if you are learning okay the elements there's just so much here that in young you know all the the different uh, ways for you to use this deck you can use this in so many ways it's unbelievable the way you can use this because of this many options these many cards you can really use like i said for yourself for others i think she has really put so much into this deck with so much detail and all the signs and everything so no doubt i recommend all the details below let me know leave me a comment let me know what you think about this deck specifically if you're learning what do you think of this one if you're learning astrology or if you already have other decks that are astrology how would you incorporate this one into your collection how can you add this one if you're reading with tarot with all the oracles as well this would be really really useful and it's going to be really good for the pick a card videos as well when i'm trying to add on uh, more information about the, who you're asking about okay so maybe what they are going through in their lives or maybe what uh, what sign they are so we can get way more information with this i'm definitely going to be adding this to my pick a cards just to give more insight more information you will see way more of these cards in my next videos you will see them more often in my pick cards okay so let me know guys if you like again all the details below like always i hope you have a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching